89.1 FM, streaming live 24-7 at aims.edu slash radio. AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. That was one headlight by Wallflowers, so that's cool. It's so cool. It's super kind of chilly outside, and I was not prepared for that when I got up this morning. I thought it was going to be kind of nice like it's been for the last week, but no, today it's very weird, cold, and clammy, I guess. Kind of weird dreary kind of day but it's okay you can listen to my show and maybe you won't feel so down and dreary because of the weather you know so next i'll tell you how cold it is outside it's actually pretty chilly today and hopefully a warm-up for the next week and i'll let you get some ames news um so coming up we have black crows warren g and hoodie in the blowfish so stick around for that on ames student radio the way radio should be ames student radio the way radio should be. That was Letter Cry by Hootie in the Blowfish. I've got some weather and news for you real quick. In Windsor, we're at 40 degrees and high of 58 today, so it's supposed to be pretty chilly all day today. But luckily, the re- for the rest of the week, it's going to be high 70s, so it's looking p- much better because today's kind of gross. I don't really like this weather. Um, but it looks like we're going to be pretty much mostly cloudy all day. It may end up being clear towards the end of the day as well. Fort Lepton, we're at 41 right now, high of 59, clear all day there, so that's kind of nice, and you'll also warm up throughout the rest of the week. Loveland, you're at 40 right now, high of 58, um, partly cloudy and clear for the rest of your day, and also warming up throughout the next for, throughout the week, so you can count on nicer weather besides today. In Greeley, we're at 41 degrees right now, high of 58, um, pretty much clear for the rest of your day, and the rest of the week looking pretty good. So, if you're hoping for better weather, it is coming. Like, the rest of this week is going to be, like, high 70s. I think it's going to be in the 80s on Friday and Sunday, so it's kind of convenient. Looks like next week, Tuesday, though, is going to be kind of gross. So, soak in the nice sun rays as much as you can now. It's about to end and get all the cold weather for winter. I've got some Ames news for you real quick. So this week is midterm week, so if you have midterms, I hope you studied for them, and I hope you do well on them. You should. Um, Then on Wednesday, we've got the Board of Trustees meeting and annual gathering. That started at noon, and that is till 5, and the Board of Trustees meeting is from 2.30 to 3.30. Um, Thursday, there's a UNC transfer rep. We'll be here from 8.30 to 11.30, if you want to be there. Um, the United Men of Color presents The Mask You Live In, Part 1. That'll be from 1.30 to 3. And Imagine Greeley will be at 6 to 7.30. On Friday, there's the start of the scheduled network down days. That is until the 16th, which is Sunday. So if you're trying to do stuff online, maybe refrain. It's not going to work out too great for you. But Monday, it'll be back up. So And then the no-code design slam will be from 10 to 2 on Friday. On Monday the 17th, there's a five-week mini-session starts, um, and then also there's an iFocus workshop for Upgrade Your Grammar Advanced from 135 to 250. Then lastly, on Tuesday, there's a Smart Sense Financial Wellness session at the Fort Lepton campus. That's from 10 to 2. There's an iFocus workshop for LinkedIn um, from 11 to noon. And then a National Society of Leadership and Success Leadership Training Day at Fort, will be at the Fort Lepton campus from 1 to 4. Highly recommend going. I went, and it was awesome, so you should go if you are supposed to. And then they also have a speaker broadcast from 5 to 6.30 up here on the Greeley campus, I think. I think I think it's everywhere, but I'm not sure. But that's about the Ames news. If you want to know more about this stuff, we'll go ahead and check out the Ames calendar online. You can get all the information about where it's at and the times and stuff if you wanted to. I'll get you back to some music. We've got Alanis Morzetti. I think I say that wrong every time, and I apologize. Um, no Doubt in Duncan Shriek. It's coming up for you on Ames Student Radio, the way radio should be. FM, Ames Student Radio, the way radio should be that was barely breathing by Duncan Shrike. Shriek? I don't know how to say that. Sorry. If you know how to say it, then you are a better person than I am. Either way, I have my word of the day for you today. I guess it kind of works with today's weather because it's kind of gloomy and doomy and not super happy, but we're going to run with it anyway. So my word of the day today is bro because I've noticed I've been saying it more lately now and I'm not really sure why because like sometimes I just start saying words and I don't know if it's because I heard somebody say it or like I heard it on the TV or I read it. Sometimes I just start saying new stuff, so I was like, maybe I'll just update everybody on what my new words are. So that was my new word that I guess I've been starting to use is bro. Um, I'm not really sure why, but usually I don't use it like when I'm talking to somebody, like, bro, what's up? No, I don't use it that way. Usually use it like when I'm like kind of not in the best mood. Like when I'm in traffic, I'm like, bro, use blinker. Or like, bro, move over. You're going two in the fast lane. You know, stuff like that. I guess that's kind of what I use it for. Or like, Bro, where's all the Halloween decorations? Because I totally went to Lowe's yesterday with my mom to go get some stuff or whatever. And we walked in and all I see is Christmas stuff. It hasn't, it's not even November yet. And the whole store is full of Christmas stuff. It's like Halloween hasn't even happened yet. It's like, where did all the Halloween decorations go? I think they only had the Halloween decorations up for literally like two weeks. And they only had one Halloween thing outside. I was like, this is like 
why? It's like Christmas isn't for like another two months. It's like move all that stuff out in November. Because I don't, I really, unless you, I, I don't really think there's that many people that want to see Christmas stuff out this early. Because I guess I don't know what the advantages of it. It's like if you buy all that stuff now, then you could set it up like in the first day of November or something. I don't know. Like, I, I don't like seeing it before Halloween. So you're skipping over like two holidays. It's like you're missing Halloween entirely and you're missing Thanksgiving. It's like, although I guess you don't really decorate for Thanksgiving, but it bugs me. I don't like it. So I don't know what you guys think about that, but it irks me, especially because I love Halloween so much, but it's like, why? It's like, why do, why do we have to skip over it? It's just weird. Obviously, there's somebody in, like, in the business world that like is like, we need to do it this way, and it works better. So I don't know what their strategy is for that, but I thought it was interesting. Oh, well, I got off a little off topic, but bro is my word of the day. So I'd be like, bro, where's all the Halloween decorations? That's kind of my example, I guess. Use it, I guess, passive-aggressively or something. But uh, that's my word of the day. Um, I want to remind everybody, like us on Facebook so you can learn all the cool things that we do on the show and like what events we're up to. I know we're doing Halloween, I think Howl, howl o I don't know how to say it, but it's, uh, it has it on our Facebook page, so if you want to look and see why I can't pronounce it, go on Facebook and give us a like. And also, if you want to listen to us 24-7, wherever you go, you can listen to us on the TuneIn app. It works fabulous, so go ahead and do that. I'll get you back to the music. We've got the rest of the 90s at noon for you. We've got Wallflower, Wallflowers, Collective Soul, Usher, TLC coming up for you for the end of 90s at noon on AIM Student Radio the way radio should be. 89.1 FM, streaming live 24-7 at aims.edu slash radio. AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. That was Aerials by System of a Down. I super love that song. I think the first time I heard that song, it was covered by a band that, there was like a battle of the bands at my school and this band covered it. It was awesome. I love the song. Either way, um, so coming up next for you, I'll have AIM's Weather in News as usual. And then I'll have my top 10 list for you. I think it's a good list for today because it's kind of like that day where it's like, I'm going to do that on a rainy day. So it'll give you something to do today since it's kind of doom and gloom a little bit outside. So I've got Breaking Benjamin and Ozzy Osbourne coming up for you next on AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. AIM! AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. That was Let Me Hear You Scream by the good old Ozzy Osbourne. He has such a distinct voice. Like you can hear him. It's like, that's Ozzy Osbourne. You can just always tell. Well, anyway, I've got some weather news for you real quick. Since it's kind of sad outside, I'll give you an update on how sad it is outside and how cold and dreary it is already. Let's see. So in Windsor, we're at 41 right now, high of 58. And then it looks like it's going to be partly cloudy until 3 o'clock, but it's going to clear up hopefully. So that will make, maybe not make it so dreary. But the rest of the week, we're on a warm up. Fort Lepton, we're at 42 degrees. So if the website would load, I would totally tell you what the rest of this information says. I'll skip around. Loveland, we're at 43 degrees, high of 60 today, so you're going to be fairly warm. Um, then partly cloudy and clear pretty much all day, but warming up for the rest of the week. Let's see. And then in Greeley, we're at 43 degrees, high of 58, partly cloudy and clear all day as well. And the rest of the week looks like it's going to be warming up, so you won't be shouldn't have to worry too much about it being too gross. And then Fort Lepton, now that the website decided to work, um, we're at 42 degrees in Fort Lepton, high 55, and looks like clear and cloudy for the rest of the day. Also going to warm up for the rest of the week, though, so that will be convenient. Got some Ames news for you real quick. This week is midterm week, so I really hope you all studied for your midterms, and I hope you're all prepared and did great on them. I have one on Monday, but I think I'm, I'm going to do good because I studied and will study more. <laughs> um, let's see, and then Wednesday... There is a board of trustees meeting from 2.30 to 3.30. That's about an hour. Um, tomorrow, Thursday, the 13th, the, the UNC transfer rep will be here from 8.30 to 11.30. So go ahead and catch them if you're trying to transfer to UNC. Um, the United Men of Color presents the Mask You Live in Part 1, 1.30 to 3 o'clock Thursday. Then also on Thursday is Imagine, Imagine Greeley from 6 to 7.30. On Friday, October 14th, there's the start of the scheduled network down days. That'll be until Sunday. So this weekend will may not be a good day to be on my aims and the like because it may or may not function correctly. And then the no-co no design slam will be from 10 to 2 on Friday. On Monday, there's the start of the second five-week mini-session. And then there's also an iFocus workshop for Upgrade Your Grammar Advanced from 135 to 250. Then lastly, on Tuesday, there's a Smart Sense Financial Wellness session at the Fort Lepton campus from 10 to 2. There's an iFocus workshop for LinkedIn to learn about LinkedIn from 11 to 2 noon. Then the National Society of Leadership and Success training day will be on the Fort Lepton campus from 1 to 4. And then also the National Society of Leadership and Success will have speaker broadcasts that day from 5 to 6.30. If you want to know more about any of these events, go ahead and check out the Ames calendar online. 
you will get all the information you need there. I'll get you back to some music. So I have my song of the day for you today. Since it's October, I am playing uh, every day of my song of the, my day. Of, wow, I can totally talk today. My song of the day is a Halloween song that we have here at the station. So I picked this one. I don't know what it is, but it'll be a learning experience for all of us. It'll be great. Um, it's called Frankenstein by the Ghost Doctors, and then I'll have 650 North with Radio Dogs coming up for you. Then I'll have my top 10 list coming up for you as well. So stick around on AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. 89.1 FM, AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. That was Radio Gods by 650 North. It's an interesting name. I wonder what it's for or what it means. Anyway, so I have my top 10 list for you. So I didn't really realize this last night, but it kind of works in a weird way. So since, it, you know, it's saying like, save it for a rainy day, huh? So today it's not really like raining, but it's kind of doom and gloom. So I made this list so maybe you could do something with it. Um, My top 10 list today is the top 10 songs I've been listening to this month. Like, this this last month. I know I should do this at the end of the month, but whatever. If you count from, like, this, the, today's the 12th, so back to September 12th, is, like, the stuff I've been listening to the last month that I super love, and I've been just jamming to. It's, like, the top 10 songs I've been jamming to for the last month. So, if you want to, since today's kind of gross, you can look up these songs and listen to them and see if they are worthy of being one of your new favorite songs of the month or something. So, I'm going to start... With number 10, the song's been out for a while, almost a year now, but I think it's amazing. Um, it's Disturbs, A Sound of Silence. We don't have it here at the station, which I don't know why. It's probably one of the best covers I have ever heard of a song, ever. Um, the Sound of Silence was originally by, oh gosh, who is it now? Simon and Garfunkel, there we go. And Disturbed covered it, and what I heard actually from, I think it was from KBPI, they said that the song they originally weren't even going to record this song they thought it was going to be a flop and nobody was going to listen to it nobody was going to like it but this song is phenomenal it's probably one of the best covers ever in my opinion i love this song every time it comes up on the radio i get super excited i love this song they did such a good job covering this song it's amazing i love it um so go ahead and look it up it is awesome i reckon out of anything on this list it's probably the number one you should look up because it's awesome um my number nine um, is Avenged Sevenfold's Planets. Um, I saw them back in August, so I'm just, like, still in awe because I saw them, but, um, that song Planets is, like, kind of like a ballad style, and it's a little slower, but it's still a really, really good song. I would recommend it. That or, like, Acid Rain. They're both really good. It's from Hail the King, their last album, and supposedly they're coming out with a new album. They've been posting teasers, um, on Facebook and stuff, and they've also had, like, their Death Bat logo all over the world. Like, they, like, project them on famous buildings, so I thought that was kind of cool. But I've been listening to a lot of their stuff lately because I just saw them, and I'm hoping a new album will come uh, come out, and they're my favorite band, so I recommend check out that song, Planets by Ben Shemfold. Number eight, I've got Ice Nine Kills, The Greatest Story Ever Told. I think it's just a really fun song. Um, I would say it's kind of a ballad, but it's not really. But it's just kind of a fun song about, like, this guy, his girlfriend, like, dies. And, like, he's like, I'm going to find the person that killed her. And it's just kind of a, a funny, fun song, I guess. I guess it's not really funny. But uh, it's just kind of a f cool, fun song to jam to. It's one of those fun ones. You, I would check it out. I forget the album it's on now. Um, but it's one of their old, older albums. But it's Ice Nine Kills, The Greatest Story Ever Told. It's kind of a fun song. The jam too, I guess, if you're feeling like listening to that. Um, I'm going to move on now. Number seven, I have Corn, Somebody, Someone. I don't have this song here, but it's awesome. It's just a, a classic Corn song. Just like heavy and intense and just really in your face. And the vocal style in the song is just phenomenal, just like all their other songs. Um, I'm super excited for them, though. They're supposed to have a new album. It's called The Serenity of Suffering. It's supposed to come out soon-ish. I don't know when, but I'm really excited for that because that means they're going to tour. Although they're supposed to be here, I think, on the 19th, and I'm definitely not going to that because I don't have tickets. But yeah, but I love the, like their new stuff. They've got a whole bunch of new songs, so I recommend checking those out. But I love Somebody Someone. If I had to recommend a song for somebody to listen to that is kind of like the pinnacle of what Korn sounds like, that would be the song to be Somebody Someone. It's a good song. It's on their Greatest Hits album, I know, because that's what I have it on. And lastly, I'll finish with my number six. Um, I've got Motionless and White Reincarnate, and we do have that song here. So after I'm done talking, I will play that for you so you can listen to it yourself so you don't have to Google it. Um, I just really like this song. I like listening to it, I like jamming to it. It's just such a different genre of music. It's got all these different elements and kind of like, I call it layers of things kind of going in on in the song, and I think it's awesome. I think they're a really good band, too. They're very talented. They have a whole kind of new view on music, which I think is... They saw an opportunity and jumped on it to get into this kind of new genre of music, and I think it's awesome. So check that out. I think I love them. But that is my bottom five. I'll tell you the top five coming up later. I think it's a really awesome list, so check. You'll be kind of surprised at what I got going, so stick around. So I've got Reincarnate with Motionless and White coming up for you, and then I'll have Nine Inch Nails for you as well on AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. AIM Student Radio, 
the way radio should be. Thou psycho by Puddle of Mud. I haven't listened to that song in actually a couple a long time, but it's a good song. I like it. Besides the vocalist dude, which now I can't remember his name. I guess is just like run off the rails or something weird. Anyway, I've got the weather news for you real quick. In Windsor, we're at 41 right now, high 59 today, and then partly cloudy for the rest of the day. Fort Lepton, we're at 42, high 59 today, and then partly cloudy and clear, kind of mixed throughout the day. Loveland, we're at 44 degrees, high of 60, and then partly cloudy pretty much all day as well. Greeley, we're at 44 degrees, high of 58, and then also kind of mixed of partly cloudy and clear for the rest of the day. Some Ames news for you real quick. So today is Wednesday, yes. So there's a Board of Trustees meeting at 2.30. Um, that is still 3.30 if you are needing to go to that. Um, on Thursday tomorrow, there's the UNC transfer rep will be here from 8.30 to 11.30. The United Men of Color presents The Mask You Live In, Part 1. That'll be from 1.30 to 3. And then Imagine Greeley will be from 6 to 7.30. On Friday is the start of the scheduled network down days, so be aware of that. That'll be until Sunday. And then the No Code Design Slam will be from 10 to 2. On Monday is the start of the second five-week mini-session. And then there's an iFocus workshop for Upgrade Your Grammar, which is advanced, and that's 1.35 to 2.50. Then lastly, on Tuesday the 18th, is a Smart Sense Financial Wellness Session at the Fort Lepton campus from 10 to 2. There's an, also an iFocus workshop for LinkedIn, Learn About LinkedIn, from 11 to noon. Then, then the National Society of Leadership and Success Leadership Training Day will be at the Fort Lepton campus from 1 to 4. They will also have speaker broadcasts from 5 to 6.30. Not entirely sure where the location is for that, though. If you want to know more about any of these things, go ahead and check out the Ames calendar, and you can learn more about all these items. I'll get you back to some music. We have Pennywise and Be Brave for you, and they'll have the rest of my top ten list for you, so stick around. Ames Student Radio, the way radio should be. 89.1 FM, Ames Student Radio, the way radio should be. That was Together Never Somewhere by Be Brave, one of the local bands we have at the station. So I've got the rest of my top 10 list for you if you were not listening earlier. My top 10 list is my top 10 songs that I've been jamming to for the last month. So I did my bottom five earlier, so I'll tell you what those were real quick. My number 10 was Disturbed with the Sound of Silence. Number nine was Avenged Sevenfold's Planets. Um, number eight, Ice Nine Kills, The Greatest Story Ever Told. Number, number seven, Corn, Somebody, so, Someone. And number six, Motionless and White, Reincarnate. So these are just kind of songs that I've been listening to the last month that I super like, and I've been just kind of been jamming to. Not my favorite songs ever, but these are like my top songs for the last month I've kind of been jamming to when I'm driving around, I guess. So I'll start back at number five is another corn song. There's a song Hater. I think it came out right after um, the Paradigm Shift. It was like another part, like B disc kind of, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, but it's a really good song. It has a really weird video, if you were wondering. But I think it's really cool. It's kind of trying and empowering people that were bullied and just kind of being like, you know, you can't control my life anymore. Just, I think it's a really cool, empowering song for somebody that just really needs that, that kind of mojo. Number four, I have Helena by The Misfits. I love that song. It's just something about it is so ridiculously catchy or it's just something about it. I love it. It's kind of short and it's a little bit slightly inappropriate but not horribly inappropriate but it's a real I like the song I think it's a really fun song to jam to on whatever days I think it's just kind of a cool song um and then my number three as usual I have to put this band is somewhere in here because I love this band uh, number three is Hollywood and Dead with the new their song New Day um New Day was on uh, one of their bonus discs and so it was a disc and it had bonus songs on it I didn't realize I had this disc until like forever like uh, I've had it forever but I didn't open it or do anything with it until a couple months ago and I realized these songs were on it I was like this song is awesome so I've been jamming to that song a lot I'm gonna try and play it for you real quick I'm not sure if it's gonna play but we'll try it real quick let's see maybe it'll play Ah, uh, here we go. Now it's gonna play. I figured it out, everybody. Yay for me! I figured out how to do something. Let's see, so I'll play this a little bit for you so you can hear it. I think it might be loud enough. The song's just catchy. Yeah, so there's a preview to that song. I super, that song is just so cool. It's just something about it. I just want to jam to for like weeks and weeks and weeks. It's just kind of one of those weird guilty pleasure songs, I guess, because out of my tastes of songs, all, all of these is the most different, but they're such a good band, just extremely talented. I love them. So that leads me to my number two. Um, so my number one, number two, the same band. 
sorry, not sorry, um, but I just found this band and I love, love, love them. I'm not sure how I didn't get into them earlier. So my number two is Chemicals by Love and Death. Um, love and Death is a band. It is fronted by um, Korn's guitarist when he had left for a little while. His name is Head, Brian Head Welch. Um, and he's the vocalist of this band. And oh my gosh, his vocals are just crazy. It's like I was reading through the YouTube comments of one of the music videos, actually a music video I think to this song, and someone was just like, it's just so mesmerizing, the vocals to this song, and well, and all the vocals all their songs, it's just incredible. I, I don't think, there are very few songs I've ever listened to that have immersed me so well and made me feel like I was in the moment and I'm like sitting right there. It's like, it's just such a good song. And like the, I don't know, just I love the vocals. I'm such a vocals person for songs, but I love, love, love the vocals to this song. I think it's awesome, awesome. That leads me to my number one song that I've been jamming to for the last month, which isn't really fair because I've been jamming to it for the last week, but I had to include it. I love this, love, 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 love the song. We have it at the station. I've played it before. It is Meltdown by Love and Death. And just something about it is so catchy. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just like awesome. I love, love, love the song. And I hope you guys like it too. Um, I'll play it for you real quick after I'm done talking. But yeah, these are my top 10 lists of my top 10 songs I've been bumping for the last week or month, I guess. So if you want to listen to these songs, go for it. I'll give you something to do for today if you don't have anything else better to do. I'll get you back to some music. So I'll have that meltdown by Love and Death, and then I'll have Theory of a Dead Man for you on AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. 89.1 FM, AIM Student Radio. The way radio should be. That was Rise Above This by Seether. Um, so coming up next, I will have AIM's Weather in News, which is usual. Um, and then, let's see, I'll have... I have a funny story for you, actually. I think it's funny. Yeah, it's one of those funny... I have a funny story for you. I don't know why I don't know what I'm doing for my own show. I have it all planned out and laid out. But whatever, I have a funny story for you. And then I've got Chevelle and Adelita's Way coming up for you next. This is Anna, if you did not know. So I, I was supposed to say that earlier, then I forgot. Either way, this whole voice track right now has just been kind of whack. So I'll get you guys back to the music. We got Chevelle and Adelita's Way for you on AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be that was criticized by Adelita's Way. It took me forever to figure out how to say that name. It's just kind of a weird name. But either way, good band, good song. I've got the weather in AIM's news for you real quick, though. In Windsor, we're at 42 degrees right now, high 59, and then mostly cloudy pretty much the rest of the day. Fort Lepton, we're at 41 right now, high of 60 today, partly cloudy and clear for the rest of the day. Loveland, we're at 45 degrees, high of 57, and then mostly cloudy for the rest of the day. And in Greeley, we're at 45, high of 58, and then partly cloudy pretty much the rest of the day. Some Ames news for you. Um, today, let's see, in about 15 minutes, there's the Board of Trustees meeting until 3.30. And then tomorrow, Thursday the 13th, the UNC transfer rep will be here from 8.30 in the morning till 11.30. The United Men of Color presents the Mask You Live In Part 1. That'll be from 1.30 to 3. And then Imagine and Greeley will be from 6 to 7.30. On Friday the 14th is the start of the scheduled network down days, so be aware of that. If you're trying to do something for this weekend, it'll be until the 16th, which is this Sunday. And then the No Code Design Slam will be from 10 to 2. On Monday is the start of the second five-week mini-session, and then there's an iFocus workshop to upgrade your grammar advanced from 135 to 250. On Tuesday, the 18th, there's a SmartSense financial wellness session at the Fort Lepton campus. There's an iFocus workshop to learn about LinkedIn from 11 to noon, and then the National Society of Leadership and Success has two things going on that day. They got the leadership training day at the Fort Lepton campus from 1 to 4, and they also have the speaker broadcast starting at 5 to 6.30. If you are in need to do that, if you want some more information on any of these things, you can always go onto the Ames website and look at the calendar. Um, I'll get you back to some music. We have Hinder and Shine Noun coming up for you, and then I will have a funny story for you coming up. So stick around. Ames Student Radio, the way radio should be. 89.1 FM, Ames Student Radio, the way radio should be. That was Sound of Madness by Shine Down. It's a good song, good song. Anyway, so I have a funny story for you, so you may or may not find this funny. But I essentially have been duped, and I didn't realize it. I think it's been, like, I don't know, three years at the most that I have not realized this thing. So I'm going to tell you about it. And you can laugh at me or just judge me secretly or whatever. That's all cool. So my story is, so I'm a huge dinosaur fanatic. I love dinosaurs. I'm not sure why. I think they're awesome. I think it's just super cool. So, of course, I would love to have a skull of one of my favorite dinosaurs, right? Right. So, my favorite dinosaurs is Mosas a Mosasaur. Wow, I can totally speak. Um, they lived underwater. They were, like, huge. If you want to think of it as, a, like, a huge menacing sea snake. But they're really cool. Either case, 
So a couple years ago, we were up, me and my family were up in Estes Park, and they had, like, that whole street of, like, cute little shops and stuff. So we like to wander around there and buy crap that you don't usually see down here, and it's, like, stuff that people have made or found. And there's this one particular store that has sold fossils and shells and rocks forever, and it's a really cool store, and we always go there, and we always check it out. So this one year, I don't remember how long ago this was or why we were up there. I can't remember for the life of me, but either way. So we're up there, and I super, super see... Wow, that didn't make any sense. So I see this skull and it says it's a mosasaur skull. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. But I think it was kind of expensive too. I think it was like hundreds of dollars. I don't, I don't remember. It was expensive either way. And I was like, this is so cool. I would love to have this mosasaur skull. It's my favorite dinosaur of all time because I'm a nerd and I would totally love to have this in, like at home. This, this would be so cool. So we end up buying it and I take it home. But then when I got it home and I looked at it after like a week or so, I posted it on Facebook and stuff and whatever. So after a while, I looked at it, I was like, it just looks funny. Something about it looks funny. So it's been years since I bought this. I don't remember when I got it. It's been a while, though. Maybe three years. But, um, yeah, I bought it. And so, no, maybe it was four years ago. I don't remember now. But either way, it was a long time ago. So finally, like one night, it was like midnight at one night. I think it was like two or three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I was just laying there, and it was like, it was bugging me. I was, it was midnight, and I was like, I need to figure out what this is. Because it's been bugging me forever, and I feel like this is not what I paid for. It's like, supposedly it's a Mosasaur school, and I doubt it is. So, yep, at midnight, I sat there and Googled till like 1 in the morning to figure out what it was. And I was correct. It was not what I paid for. It was not a Mosasaur skull. In fact, it was a crocodile skull. And I was very angry because I was really excited that it was supposed to be a Mosasaur. And it definitely is not. Definitely not the right thing. It's completely different. So I was really upset about it. So I figured I'd tell you guys about it, even though you probably don't really care. But it's totally cool. But yeah, so I stayed up till midnight one night and trying to figure out what this was. And then I finally figured it out. And now I'm kind of bummed out because at first I was like, well, I don't really want to find out if it's the real thing or not because then I'm going to be upset about it if it's not. So now I'm upset about it. But it's cool. I have a fossil crocodile head, I guess. Not sure how old it is, but I guess I have it. So it's kind of cool, I guess. But I have a fake replica of a Velociraptor skull, so that's cooler, I guess. I don't know. But I figured I'd tell you guys that because I was very saddened by it. I'll let you get back to the music so I don't have to listen to my story anymore. We've got Green Day and Sublime with Rome coming up for you on AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. 89.1 FM, AIM Student Radio, the way radio should be. That was Dirty Little Things by Regret Knight, one of the local bands that we play on the station. Um, so I have a cool-ish slash funny-ish story for you, whatever you want to classify it as. So, as you all know, I have, well, I guess some of you may or may not know, um, I drive a really big black truck, and it's an F-150, and I love it. Um, it's my, like, dream car besides, like, multiple other cars. Actually, yeah, it's about probably my dream car besides, like, having, like, a Ford Model A or a Ford Model T. That'd be really cool. Or, for, or, or, or an old Ford Coupe. But anyway, the other day, I was actually heading here to get to my first class, which is early. And I was going down 34 west on 34. And I'm driving, and I see these two big trucks. There's one big gray Ford, and then there's a big black GMC right in front of it. And so I'm looking at these trucks because they're both lifted, and they're both awesome-looking trucks. This GMC was beautiful. It's exactly what I want to do with my truck. It's so It was so cool-looking. So I was driving by it. And they both had Georgia plates. I think they were following each other. But it's like, gosh, that's a huge, long drive if they actually drove there from here. But either way, that was not the point of the conversation. So this GMC, it's probably got a high enough, the same lift as mine does. It's like a six-inch lift. And then it was like, it looks like it was just painted. Like, just the deepest black ever. Like, a shiny, deep black. It was beautiful. And it had the blacked-out um, taillights and the headlights. Um, the windows were tinted. And then see, oh, and it had like the riveted wheel well things. I think you may, some of you may or may not know what that is. It's like they're they're really popular now. They've been popular for the last like couple of years, I guess. But it's like around your wheel well. It has like it looks like rivets. I love those for some reason. Those are so cool. But it was the coolest looking truck ever. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful truck, and I envied it the whole way up 34 until it turned. The Ford behind it was cool looking too. It was like a newer, well, older 2000s. And I love that model of Ford trucks. Like, they just look cool to me. Like I like cars, but I'm not like a, like a mechanic. I don't know how cars work, but I love the aesthetics to cars. That's mainly why I like probably the older Fords and stuff. But I love this, the Ford trucks in like the 2000s years, like the big 250s. It was one of those and it was gray. It was super pretty though. Not as cool as the GMC though. And I'm not a huge GMC fan, but it was an awesome looking truck, I had to say. But yeah, that was, I wanted to tell you guys about that. If you're a car person, then there you go. There's your story. I'll get you guys back to music eventually. Um, I want to let you guys all know, on Monday, my show is going to be really different 
I'm either not going to do my top 10 list or I'm not going to have a funny story for you or whatever. Um, I'm going to play an interview with a punk band I did not too long ago. And I'm, they're going to talk about like their what the music they play and who they are. And they have a, sh- a show coming up too. So I'm going to play the interview I did with them, which is really exciting. The band's called Mantle. And they have a Facebook page if you guys want to go check them out. They're an awesome, awesome band. They have a song called The Draven Song if you want to go and check them out on YouTube. Um, I'm going to play that interview for them Monday. Um, so check that out. It'll be awesome, awesome. So stick around for that. I will be back on Monday, that is. So then I'll take you get, get you guys back to the music. We have Slipknot and Rise Against coming up for you in Aim Student Radio, the way radio should be.